What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good day. So I just wanted to start off this video by saying thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Like, that's insane. I can't believe how quickly I've got there. I said in a video a few months ago, my aim was to get to 1,000 subscribers in a year. I managed to do it in like just under seven months so thank you so much for everyone's support on the channel re recently it means so much to me like i appreciate it so much because yeah i mean i'd love to make this my job one day just helping people with fitness documenting my journey so thank you appreciate everyone following along so i thought i'd do a little day in the life vlog today however unfortunately is a day in the life vlog in isolation again fair to say i did not expect that to happen but my dad got coronavirus it was like an outbreak at his work and um he's fine though he's sound doesn't even have any symptoms so and i'm sound i've not got it I had a test negative happy days mate but yeah i've got self-isolate for two weeks so yeah, just back to the home workouts, which isn't ideal, but you know, we're gonna keep pushing forward, trying to make them gains. So yeah, I'm gonna do a home arm workout, maybe throwing a bit of shoulders as well later. So I will show you that, also show you a bit of food that I'm eating, and yeah, just talk about some stuff probably. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. So I forgot to film my breakfast because I've just decided that I'm filming a vlog now, but this is what I had. So I had the oats that I had in the previous day in the life, two packets of Quaker oats, so simple, golden syrup flavour, then changed the protein up this time, went for the My Protein Impact Whey chocolate orange, this is really nice, and then just some milk as well. And yeah, this has been pretty much my go-to breakfast every day at the moment. Tastes decent, cook it in five minutes, job done, and it's got really good macros, high calories for bulking, healthy as well. I just remembered I forgot to tell you guys the actual calories and macros of the protein oats in the last video, so for two bags of oats, 360 millilitres of milk and one scoop of protein, it's 65 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat and 37 grams of protein. Overall that comes to 551 calories, so really good for bulking, healthy breakfast, good macros, just a top tier breakfast really. Obviously that could differ slightly depending on the protein, oats and milk that you have and if you add any extras like fruit or maple syrup or some kind of sauce. This breakfast is really good if you're cutting as well, trying to get in the calorie deficit because you can literally just take out one bag of oats and then that'll drop the calories of the meal by like 250, so that's always an option. And yeah, if you didn't watch my last video on how to make them, literally all you do, boil 360 milliliters of milk a few minutes, add in two of these, add in your scoop of protein, mix together, Sorted, that easy then, add on whatever you want on top. So for lunch, my dad's cooked up a little surprise cooked breakfast, but I'm having it for lunch. Um, so I'm pretty buzzing about that. Not the healthiest, but you know, life's all about balance. It's a Saturday, enjoying myself. So we got a decent amount of beans, two sausages, ketchup, lovely ketchup, two pieces of bacon, only a few mushrooms. I'm not sure why he's not done more mushrooms, but whatever. And two slices of toast, brown bread, just a bit healthier. Yeah, I'm not sure what the macros are of this. Got a decent amount of protein, carbs and fats though. Like I said, not the healthiest. And that's the thing, when you're bulking, you're allowed to enjoy yourself a bit more. You don't have to have healthy food all the time. Like, it's just all about balance. So yeah, I'm just going to watch a bit of YouTube. Enjoy this now. Get it down, me. Happy days. Yes, guys. So I'm about to start my arm workout now. Got the stringer on from Alphalete. This is my favourite stringer. See the traps. There we go. Then I've got the peach pre-workout from Ghost. Talked about in the last video. Which tastes unreal. Unbelievable stuff. Lower stim, which is what I like because too much caffeine just sends me crazy. And yeah, just some tips I have to get bigger arms because I literally used to have no arms. And I know they're still not great. They're not the best body part for me genetically. But, you know, I've managed to get them pretty decent. Hoping to still get them a lot bigger. But yeah, some of the main things that I've done is making sure I'm training my arms twice a week. Because that's optimal for muscle growth. Then... Concentrating on my triceps, that's a game changer because triceps make up two thirds of your arm. And another major thing is just getting your form down for all the exercises and really focusing on time under tension, taking your time, really squeezing the muscle like when you're doing tricep push downs, really squeezing at the bottom, slowly back up on the eccentric. Same with biceps, you're doing bicep curls, you're going up, squeeze at the top down slowly so you're just tearing the muscle apart because so many people are like rushing like this you know doing everything really fast which is not what you want to do it's all about getting that mind muscle connection doing it slowly really feeling the muscle fibers tearing and that's kind of how you're going to grow your arms and all your muscles that same goes for every muscle group and yeah for this arm workout we're going to be back to using the good old bands and the weight. I'll also put the workout up on the screen in a minute so you can screenshot it, do the workout if you want to. But I'm feeling good, I'm feeling positive. Let's get straight into the workout. I'm in love, but it goes so fast. All tied up, like a captain. I'm on to you. Used to pay them on my life. Sending a rainbow who's playing it cool. I'm progress in ages and I'm not patient. So won't you please?
can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right that is the workout finished and I'm feeling unreal. This is why I love working out. Honestly, it's one of the best feelings in the world just after you finish your workout, the endorphin rush. I hope all of you guys are smashing your gym goals, working hard, staying consistent. That's just what you gotta do. It's a long process and you know what I mean? Just gotta get it done. I tell you what, I'm so happy with how I'm looking. I'm making really good progress. Like, I just can't believe how kind of fast my physique's progressing, but you know, I am really putting in the work, staying consistent, so. Hard work does pay off. I know that was a lot of volume for the workout, free bicep, free tricep, free shoulder exercises. That's because when I'm working out at home, obviously I've only got lighter weights. So I'm just doing more reps, more sets, just to kind of really exhaust the muscle. So wouldn't do that much volume at the gym, but that's why I've done so much kind of in my home workout. So I'm just sipping on two scoops of the Impact Whey Protein that I got from my protein, the chocolate orange flavor. And it's actually really nice because I'm a big fan of Terry's chocolate orange. So I thought, do you know what? I'll try this, might be decent. and. It is very, it's really good. I'm impressed to be fair. Very impressed. Like it does taste like Terry's chocolate orange. Not as good, but still for protein. I recommend it if you like chocolate orange. I've also got chocolate mint. This one's really nice as well. Again, if you like like chocolate mint ice cream, mint stuff, definitely recommend that. That's probably my favourite maybe. Also, I'm gonna be hopping back on steroids. I'm gonna be I'm all about transparency, gonna be completely honest with you guys. So I'm just gonna show you the cycle that I'm gonna be taking. Um so yeah. It's creatine monohydrate. Like, this is it's hard stuff. It's hard stuff. Like, I'm going to blow up. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know I got you there. Um, I'm natural. Just creatine. To be honest, I'm not even going to lie. Just going to be honest with you. I might clickbait that. Try and get a few more views. You know, that's what YouTube is. You've, you've got to do it sometimes. For those of you that don't know what creatine is and how it works, I get a lot of questions about it. Basically, all it does in simple terms is it increases the amount of energy you have in your muscles, which enables you to do a few more reps in your sets. And that, in turn, enables you to build that little bit more muscle. So I know some people go on like it's steroids, but it does work. It's like the most researched supplement. Don't get me wrong, like it is good, but it's, yeah, not going to turn you into the Incredible Hulk, basically. And just take five grams a day of creatine and you're good to go. So I've just finished my tea and for tea today, I had jam Jambalaya, which is an unreal meal. I think it's Spanish. I really recommend cooking it at home, giving it a try. It's a really good meal. Basically, all you do to cook it is cook as much rice as you want in a pan, then in another pan, cook the chicken, season it with whatever seasoning you want, then add in a tin of chopped tomatoes, some peppers, and chorizo, and then that's literally it. Play it up with the rice. I like to have a little bit of cheese when I'm bulking because I just love cheese. And yeah, that meal there, if I had to estimate, was around 800 to 1000 calories, 40 to 50 grams of protein. And if you just search up jambalaya, a recipe on Google as well, lots of different versions that you can try. And yeah, that's pretty much all the food that I'll eat for the day. I'll also have a fruit smoothie later as well. I quite often have a fruit smoothie at night because obviously fruit's healthy, low calories, and it keeps you full for a long time, so it kind of stops you snacking at night. So a little tip, you know, if you're cutting, um, I'd definitely recommend having fruit smoothies at night, just, yeah, quality. And literally all I do is buy loads of frozen fruit, whack it in the freezer, then whenever I want a smoothie, just put the fruit in the Nutribullet, bit of water, Blend it all up, job done, happy days. So my meal structure is split up like this when I'm lean bulking. I'll have breakfast, then lunch, then normally work out, then I'll have a protein shake after with two scoops of protein, then I'll have a big tea, and then at night I'll normally have um, a healthy snack like a, a fruit smoothie or something similar. But when I'm bulking, the snacks I have in the day aren't always healthy, you know, I mix it up sometimes. I'll have ice cream, a cookie, chocolate bar, as I say, it's all about balance. I just thought I'd tell you guys that because I get asked quite a lot how do I split up my meals and calories. So if you want to do it that way, give it a try. I find that works well for me. I'm never hungry, always got energy, hitting all my macros, protein, carbs and fats. And eating that way enables me to comfortably hit my calories each day. So I think I'll leave the video there. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one where hopefully I won't be self-isolating.